Okay, let's say you talk with a client uh, or customer. You talk about the things that they need. But there are several options. So most time when you talk with a customer and uh, you can go A, B and C. And then you can get what they need. But most time you need to know what their position are or you need to know specific things. Let's say after a conversation, so you have a phone conversation, you just remind about something and you want to inform them that, okay, you know what is better for us to do a different option. So let's say this is you. This is your client. First, you had a conversation on telephone, uh, a phone. And then you send them an email. You know what? Let's go with the other way because I think this is much better for you. How would you inform them? So you just send them an email. And then you're going to put in the email some things. You have some basic things that you need to put in the email. But it's up to you. You can use this template in order to make your email. So what can you make? What can you put in the email to say, hey, I think it's better for us to take a different approach. So we're going to start first with the uh, with subject or object. Doesn't matter. Here you put a title in. I have outline a different option. See, this is how you can start. Remember, this is something you can put in the subject form or object form of the email. Yeah. You talk with the person on the phone so you know their name. Yeah. So you put their name. And then I'm going to write the first paragraph and then we're going to discuss this. So you can start like this after recent telephone conversation after our recent telephone conversation i thought about the problem we discussed and arrived at what i think might may be a better solution although i still believe you talk about the other solution i am not certain that this approach would meet your needs tell them about that be honest about that most people appreciate it when you are honest about that I'm going to write the second one, then I'm going to talk about it. Okay, okay, so long, um, long letter, but okay, so you can start, for example, I have outlined a different option, so after you talk with them, you can say, hey, I outlined a different option, and then you put it on the other page, or you can put it in as an attachment to the email, and you explain to them what the other option is and be specific yeah and um also think about okay if you got feedback from them think about it what you would change and why it was very positive and put those things in it remember this is template you can put this in it or not it's up to you if you like what i have online outline i could put things together quickly and be ready to start I think it's ready. Ready to start as date. Yeah, I, I have also been thinking about making a trip to the city around that time, so I could combine that with a visit to see you, which can reduce your cost for travel expenses. I'll be back in my office on dates if you want to call to discuss this. So um, most of the things that people use is, for example, uh, when they're discussing the 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 quotation or the final proposal most time they go and meet the the client because when you meet them 
it can get you over the bridge where they can sign the contract and sometimes they give an excuse that hey they are at around that time in that city maybe we can meet and then they're trying to give the good impression most time i experience this a lot and uh, it's good to see that people know how to negotiate but people that are amateur think about okay you can always solve things online by making sure that people sign a contract but most time people don't do it online unless they know um, who you are and what you can do so this is a good tactic if we can use it use it just meet up with the client and try to create a connection and based on the connection they can hire you again so technically this is an um, this is an outline so let's say you discuss things on the phone and you want to change it you change it you send them on a, a proposal they sign it then they sign it keep in mind in order for D to get a contract with A, D need to accept it. If there's no exception, then there's no contract. If B does, if D rejected, there's no contract. Yeah. So let's say you send it to D and D rejected, there's no contract. Let's say D want another some changes, then it's possible after the changes, if he accept it and you accept it, then they have a contract. So. That's technically it. If you have a question about it, what you can do is go to martis.bio.link. On that page, you can join the, the law center. In the law center, you can ask me a question about this. So, I hope you guys like this video. Subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.